Hello, my name is Li Guangyu. Come from Beijing Institute of Spacecraft System Engineering. Today, I would like to present my paper, Design of a Spacecraft Network System Based on Space Ground Integrated Network. The outline of my paper as follows. The first part, I want to introduce the background of this research. The second part is architecture of spacecraft network. The third part covers the particular stack of spacecraft network. And then we introduce the experiment results. Finally, a simple conclusion is given. Well, let's move on to the first part of this topic. With the development of network technology, the space ground integrated network becomes the inevitable development trend. If the information exchange in the spacecraft adopts the ground network to realize the integrated communication, the protocol can be unified, and the communication efficiency can be improved. But compared with the ground network, the space link of spacecraft has characteristics of long time delay, limited bandwidth, unbalanced bandwidth, and complex electromagnetic environment. In view of the above problems, this paper puts forward a solution of space network system to achieve efficient and reliable integration of space ground network communication. Then we will talk about the architecture of spacecraft network in the second part. The system architecture is shown in this picture. It's constructed with space Ethernet switch, wireless transceiver equip equipment and space ground gateway. The space Ethernet switch is reasonable responsible for the access of wild network terminals and networking between different spacecraft. The wireless transceiver is responsible for the access of the wireless network terminal. The space gateway is responsible for the bidirectional space link transmission between the spacecraft network and the ground network. The third part is the protocol stack of spacecraft network. I mean, the problems of bidirectional space link, the multi layer network protocol is optimized. The network protocol stack of spacecraft adopts five layer structure, including application layer, transmission layer, network layer, data link layer, and the physical layer, seeing the picture for details. Application layer. According to the requirements of spacecraft data transmission, the data can be divided to three types. First, low speed, real time, and high reliability data such as control and telemetry date. Second, high speed, real time and fluent date, such as image and voice date. Third, high speed, reliability but no real time requirement date, such as high speed experiment date. According to this date, Three kinds of network flow control strategies are adopted, and their corresponding relationships are shown in this table. 
control strategy one. For telemetry and control date, no flow control is carried out. Control state strategy two. For image and wall state, it's required to control the average rate of statistics in a certain period of time. It needs to meet the equation. And control strategy three. For experiment date, in order to ensure the smooth update rate of the experiment, the time interval between adjacent date packets is specified, and the output date is required to be buffered and smoothed in the application layer. The time interval of application layer. Date packets should meet the following equation. Transport layer. Transport layer <coughs> adopts TCP and UDP protocol. TCP protocol can be used for data with high reliability and uh, integrity requirements and low speed less than. 30 kbps, and it's not allowed to be used for data transmission between space and ground with high speed more than 30 kbps. UTP protocol can be used for data with high real time requirement and high rate more than 2. And BPS to ensure the transmission delay as small as possible. Network layer. Network layer use IP protocol to realize the data exchange of the network layer. SMP protocol is used in network layer to feedback internet control message, which is used to detect and report various errors in IP packet. Transmission. IRP protocol is used in network layer to realize the mapping between IP address and the physical address. Datalink layer. Datalink layer of spacecraft network mainly include Ethernet datalink layer, wireless Wi Fi data layer. And space ground transmission data layer. Ethernet data link layer adopts the MAC frame format of IEEE standard 802.3. In order to avoid the MAC address conflict of the spacecraft network terminal equipment. The terminal developer needs to make sure that the MAC address is not used by other terminals. Wireless Wi Fi data link layer. Adopts the wired network interface meeting. The standard of IEEE 802.3 and 802.3U and the radio frequency interface meets the IEEE standard 802.11GNN. That layer, link <coughs> layer of space ground transmission adopts IP over SDS protocol. Due to the mismatch between the length of date frame and the length of MAC frame, it will result in the waste of link bandwidth. In order to solve this problem, this paper process a network packet segmentation strategy based on the date frame format of the link. It can greatly improve the utilization of the link.
the the improvement improvement is more than ten percent. Physical layer. <clears throat> there is signal crosstalk problem in the transmission of Ethernet single by through cabin connector. In order to solve this problem, a low electromagnetic interference arrangement method of cross arrangement and the cable group shielding is proposed. The cross talk is optimized by HDP and it can realize stable transmission of Ethernet single. The platform is the communication mode of the space ground network. This picture shows the autonomous addressing mechanism of spacecraft network. ARP protocol can be used to establish and maintain the corresponding relationship between MAC address and IP address in the internal network terminal of spacecraft. The space switch maintains the storage table of the switch through the corresponding relationship between MAC address and the part of the receive date. When the switch receives a frame of date packet, it looks up whether there is a storage item of this destination MAC address in the storage table. If there is no such item, it will send a broadcast frame to all terminals. When the others feed back the date information, it can store and update the relationship between the MAC address and the port. The table stored in the switch and terminal is provided with the latest uptime information. The date exchanged by the terminal and the switch is required to maintain and update the storage table. When the update is not carried out for a long time, the corresponding items in the table should be detected to prevent the normal communication of the network affected by the network topology and the terminal certain changes. And this picture shows the dynamic routing mechanism in space ground network. Three-layer date forwarding mode is adopted between the spacecraft and the ground network. The protocol proceeding function of the space ground link needs to be completed by the space ground gateway. When the spacecraft network terminal needs to send the date to the ground terminal, the network terminal judges whether the destination IP address is an internal address before transmission the date. If it's an internal address, layer 2 exchange is carried out directly. If it's an external address, the default gateway MAC address is queried through ARP protocol and IP packet is sent to the gateway through the switch. After receiving the packet, the gateway encapsulated the IP packet and transmits it to the ground through the SDS AOS protocol. When the ground receives the date, it forwards the IP packet to the corresponding ground network terminal. The date processing process of uplink is consistent with that of downlink. In order to verify the design of the spacecraft network proposed in this paper, the experiment is carried out through the space ground test. 
In the test, the transmission date test, image and voice transmission test are carried out. The transmission delay of space ground IP packets is about 526 meters seconds. The HD image downlink is normal and the image is clear and smooth. The wireless transmission is normal. The wireless weight is controlled evenly with an average of 60 packets per second. The wireless is small and there is no packet loss. Finally, I would like to make a conclusion with this presentation. In this paper, a network architecture and protocol stack for spacecraft are proposed and verified. It can be applied to the space ground integrated network communication of high, medium, and low Earth orbit spacecraft. It can also be applied to deep space exploration missions. That's all. Thank you.